Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated sports systems to help you win big and win big consistently every single week. So please come on and join us and join in the fun. If you join in, you will be able to access this Z Code VIP Club section, which has the great tools that you can use to help you make your picks. That's what I'm going to use now for some baseball games for this weekend. Uh, there are some, several key matchups here as we head about a month away from the All Star break. So we're going to take a look at some of these games here. I'm going to scroll down through. There will be a whole list of games that we can take a look at here. So I'm not going to pick all of them as we scroll down through here. I'm going to take a look at the first game. This is not the one I want. Uh, let's go look at this one. The Los Angeles Angels and the Tampa Bay Rays. So if you look here, Tampa Bay is battling the Yankees in the American League East. And the Angels are trying to tread water in the American League West. If you look here at what's happening so far between the two teams, you know, Angel status is average, and they have won three out of their last six. The Rays status is burning hot. They have won five out of their last six. Go to the power ranking indicator. You will see the trend for the Rays is on the upward trend. They're at plus 23 on June 9th, and they're up to uh, plus 27. And the Angel is on a downward trend, and they are only at plus six. If you look at... The totals predictor, if you're considering the over-under, you can see the red line compared to the blue line, which means the angels here are over. The red is higher than the blue. And if you look here at the rays, the rays are, after trending over for quite a bit of a period of time, they're now trending under again. So in this case, it's probably best to avoid the over-under since the teams are trending in opposite directions. If we take a look at the uh, volatility oscillator, you see that Oh, this is the wrong team, excuse me. That was the Marlins and the Pirates. I scrolled down a little bit too far. Okay, here we go. Back up to this one. See what I want. We scroll up here. We see the Rays are at plus 15. They are much more stable than the Angels at plus 4, which means that the Rays are more consistent with their uh, over uh, favorite underdog status. Now, if you look at the pitching matchups for this series, uh, we don't have every pitcher scheduled here. As you notice, that there are, there's undecided for the Angels for two out of three games at this point. But uh, Gifford Channing on Sunday is a very good bet at plus 181 on the pitcher profit oscillator. I will show you how to use that shortly with another matchup. Um, Wake Snell is the best bet for the Rays this weekend at plus 92 on the pitcher profit oscillator. So I think in the series in general, I think the Rays clearly have the better team. They're battling with the Yankees. The Angels are having trouble. Pick the Rays to win two out of three. Go down through here to another matchup. Go to the Philadelphia Phillies and Atlanta Braves. They're battling in the NL East right now, tied for the top spot. The Phillies are average right now, and they have only won. Let's see what they have done recently. They haven't been playing great baseball as of late. Um, right here. They have won four out of their last six, but they have lost their last two. If you look at the Braves, they are burning hot. They have won four out of their last six. If you look at the power rankings indicated, the Braves have now overtaken the Phillies by a plus 23 to plus 22 margin. You see the Braves are trending upward with the red line. The Phillies are trending downward with the blue line. If you look at the totals predictor for the over-under, let's take a look. The Phillies are trending under at the moment. The Braves are trending way over right now. So even though they're trending in opposite directions, it might be a safe bet to, to uh, bet the over because just because of the way the Braves are scoring runs, I think the over is probably the best bet in this one. Now, we're going to look at the volatility oscillator, which team is playing the best right now according to their favorite and uh, underdog status. Again, that went to the Twins and Royals. I'm not sure why. Let's scroll back up. There we go. And here we got the Braves and the Phillies. See, both teams are actually quite stable at plus 13 so pay attention to their favorite underdog status now i'm going to go to the pitcher profit oscillator which i talked about before what you can do here is you can put in the two teams you say put in the phillies and the braves and then you can put in the two pitchers and this is saturday's matchup aaron noah versus kevin gaussman you can see the big uh difference in pitcher profit in, in this one here you can see aaron noah is at plus 194 kevin gaussman at minus 2129 so this is a good bet for the Phillies on Saturday. It's probably the best bet for them this weekend for a win because Max Freed on uh, Friday is at plus 699. Nick Pavetta is in the negative. On Sunday, both Mike Fulton-Edwards and 
Jared Eikhoff are both in the negative, so that's probably not a very good game to to bet strictly on the pitcher's performance. But if you look in general at the whole series, I say the Braves probably have a little bit of an edge playing at home, and they should take two out of three in this series. Go down through here to another matchup, the New York Yankees and the Chicago White Sox. Well, the Yankees are battling for first in the AL East. The White Sox are in third in the AL Central, but the Yankees are only a, a relatively mediocre five and five over their last 10. If you look at here, they have won two out of their last, well, they won their last two and three out of their last six. Uh, they are burning hot at the moment. And if you look at the White Sox, they are ice cold down. They have won only two out of their last six, losing the last one 12 to one to Washington. It was the power ranking indicator, which I always like to do. The Yankees are on an upward trend. They are at plus uh, 21, and the <clears throat> White Sox here are at plus 13. Go down here to the total predictor. If you're considering the over and under, well, let's take a look. The Yankees are trending in games under. The White Sox also under. So if you're looking at the over under, pick the under in this series. Again, I always like to look at the volatility oscillator. And if you look here, the volatility oscillator, and again, it's the wrong team. Let's go back up. What happens is it scrolls down to the next game. So you'd be very careful for using this, that it doesn't accidentally scroll down too far. So anyway, here's the volatility oscillator for the Yankees and White Sox. The Yankees are at plus 18. You can see they're a much more stable team than the White Sox. So pay close attention to the Yankees' favorite underdog status when betting in this one. As far as the pitching matchups are concerned, Masahiro Tanaka is at plus 1,164 profit. He is scheduled for Sunday for the Yankees. He is the best bet out of any game in this series. For the White Sox, their best bet on the mound is Friday with Luis Giolito at plus 855. In general, the Yankees will take the series on the road, winning two out of three. Go down through here. There's a couple more matchups to take a look at. We've got the San Diego Padres and the Colorado Rockies in this NL West matchup here. That we see the Padres are ice cold down. The Rockies are average. The Padres have lost their last two, and they are two and four out of their last six. The Rockies, on the other hand, won their last game. They are three and three over their last six. Power rankings indicator shows you what's happening here. Both teams are trending downward, and they are actually exactly dead even right now at plus 14. So this is going to be a very interesting close matchup. So let's take a look here at the totals predictor for the over under. You see the Padres are trending over, not as much over as they were just a couple of days ago, but they are trending over. And you look here at the Rockies, they are trending under. So again, it's probably best to avoid the over under since they are trending on opposite sides of the line. If you look at the pitching matchups here, I have a couple of the, the key starters for this series. Um, Eric Lauer is the best bet for the Padres on Saturday. He's at plus 525 on the pitcher profit oscillator. And German Marquez, also the best bet for the Rockies, but he's also pitching on Saturday at plus 873. So this will be a very good matchup in Saturday's game. Overall in this series, though, I think the Rockies have the edge playing at home, and they should take two out of three in the series. Let's go down here to the Cubs and the Dodgers. This is the final matchup we're going to take a look at, and this is a battle which could be a playoff preview. Right now the Cubs are second to the Brewers. They are average status. They have won four out of their last six. The Dodgers are average down. They have won three out of their last six. If you look at the power rankings indicator, though, you can see the query. They're two of the top teams. The Dodgers are way up there at plus 29. And the Cubs are right behind them at plus 28. If you look at the totals predictor, the Cubs are trending under. The Dodgers are trending way under in their game which means that both teams are scoring low and not allowing many runs. Let's pick the under in this one. It's a very safe bet for this series. If you look at the pitcher profit oscillator, who's pitching this series? Well, the best bet uh, for the Dodgers is Sunday with Hyun Jin Ru at 526 in the green. The worst bet for the Cubs is Yu Darvish on Saturday. He is at minus 1,473. Jose Quintana is a very poor bet also on Sunday at minus 710. The Dodgers are clear the better team. And also take a look at the um, volatility oscillator. This will give you another indication which way to go. And again, scroll down too far. That's very easy to do when you go from one 
oscillator to another. So again, be careful with that. So with the volatility oscillator, there we go. The Dodgers are at plus 23, one of the most stable teams in the league. So go with their favorite underdog status. Being that they are the home team, they should be the favorites in uh, at least two, maybe all three games, they'll be the favorites. So go with the Dodgers to win. They likely will not win the series by a sweep, but they will win the series two games to one. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have some fun this week in betting on the games, and we will see you next week.